hi guys good morning and welcome to my kitchen today we are making such an amazing oh healthy pancakes these pancakes are made of as you can see on my kitchen what i'm holding on banana and egg and oatmeal so i'm going to make a mixture it's just a free head i don't i didn't really have an um a recept but i just mix it like that and i made my pancakes for just something healthy and quick and it can hold the stomach for quite some hours before i go get i start eating lunch so this oatmeal pancakes I'm going just to, as I peel the banana and I'm going just to smash by mixture, mixing the egg with the banana first. And as I'm using this, what do you call this tool? Can somebody just comment down below what we, we call this tool? I don't know how I should put it in English. Anyway, as I crush around this banana and um, egg, then I will add the oatmeal uh, and the baking powder just a little bit. And then I mix them. I'm not adding no sugar, just the cinnamon. And then we are good to go. So first of all, uh, doing this is just really easy, you know. Sometimes we really need to keep ourselves healthy. And um, by the way, I'll be adding a little bit milk as well. That way it won't be that thick not to be able to cook. So yeah, just a little bit milk and then we'll be good to go. So here I'm mixing, I'm mixing everything together and so that we can have consistency for the... Um, mixture that way we can start cooking it already on the pan so i'm just still mixing around it's time for now to cook so that i can eat this breakfast really quick because i have other stuff to do today i'm planning a lot so my pan is hot already and i'm just putting like some portion on the pan that way we can have our portion already uh, served for, I mean, for pancakes. So we just leave it to cook for some time and then we turn it around. Then you can see how the pancake look. I'm sure it will be yummy. I put a lot of work. So normally when I'm doing it this, I'm making it. So I use margarine to cook or butter, you know, any of them you can use. You can even use oil. So it's, it's your choice what you're using. So I like using margarine for this. And um, it's a sunflower margarine. It's really kind of healthy. So that's what I use. And this is how the pancakes turn out to look so i will still continue cooking and then i will see you when i'm ready to eat guys so this one's already i'm going to put the second load then i will be done so i'm not really like nowadays i don't really do much eating in the morning i really minimal what to eat a little bit something warm i need you always my tea and then yeah, time to start the day. So, guys, these are my pancakes, as you can see. And I'm making my mixture of green tea with other uh, different teas and honey, a little bit of honey inside. And then I go get ready to eat this. And, yeah, I think they are amazing really amazing so get ready to see the end result 
hi guys welcome back so for lunch today we have rib thick ribs which i like so much these thick ribs they have a lot of meat i want to make them and i put them in the oven so that they can i'm um, frying them first and then both sides and then after that i will put them in the oven and then they cook slowly while i continue with my sunday reset before lunch so i'm going just to cut um i'm cutting them like you know the good thing is they have a lot of meat a lot So now we have our pieces. I'm just going to put some I'm going to just to add some salt and pepper. That's it, not much. So as for that we're going just to spread a little bit and then we're going to put them in the pan so. now i'm going just to lay them And then we let them, we, we, we just fry them brown both sides and then I will put them in the oven. So I'm just going to cook some potatoes. As I will be making a special uh, potato salad with them. So that's the potatoes. I'm going to boil them, not too soft, and then I will peel them later. So I'm adding hot water on my potatoes that way they can cook as fast as possible so that I can take them down and cool them before I make the potato salad. So letting the meat get very, we're going to move on. With the garlic.
So we're going to work on the carrots right now because we're going to make our pizza with the carrots as well. It's really is amazing this pesto. I always like and it just makes the food taste so good. So guys, I have a lot going on here on my surface and I'm just going to start with the onions I'm cutting them into pieces, small pieces, that way they can be um, worked really fast So I'm just going to add everything inside my smoothie maker. So, garlic goes inside as well. We're going to add the carrots. So I just peel the ginger. I'm going to cut it into pieces as well before I add it.
So, we're going to add it in. I think I'm going to do it this instead. I'm going to add everything here. So I'm going to add my soap powder, vegetable soup powder. I'll be adding white pepper. I'll be adding some curry or oh, paprika. We have curry. And we're going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. Just a little bit. And then I'm going just to mash it. So guys, I'll be adding some oil. That way we can be able to mix this well. I'll be using this to make everything smaller. So guys, our pesto is done. Look at that. Everything is mashed, smashed. And now I'm going just to store it in the fridge. And when I'm cooking, I can just add in my food while cooking. Or you can just eat it. It tastes really good. And yummy. So I'm just going to add a little bit on the meat to make the meat softer. So you see the meat is all brown and I'm just going to add the pesto a little bit that way it can bring some flavor inside the meat and it makes the meat more tender. And I'm going just to put it in the oven and cook slowly until I serve. So I'm using aluminum pepper to cover this. And I'm just making some a little holes that way it can have some 
moist coming in so let's put it in the oven So down here I have a water bath which makes moisture in the oven that way the meat won't be dry and I will let it cook like for an hour and then I just have 150 degrees in the oven not too high just moderate and it will be cooking slowly so guys now my potatoes They are not yet ready, so I will let them cook and I will come back to them later. So lastly, I'm going to store my pesto in this container. And then when I'm cooking, I just take a little bit each time to add in my food. So we're good to go. I just make sure it's tightly closed that no air goes in. And then we just click, click. So it's ready. I put it in the fridge. So guys, that's how I do my stuff. So guys, I am making my potato salad um i'm not using no eggs i'm just using the vegetables only so i'm going to add my red paprika i'm going to add some maize and i'm going to chop these potatoes that i cooked this morning into cubes and then we're going to add them in So guys, this is the potato salad, you can see, it's done, now it's waiting to serve and at the moment I'm going to make a salad, a tomato salad and then we are done. So guys, this is my salad, tomato, onions, avocado salad so we're going to have this for lunch as well i think you can see how it is and yeah I think so it's ready it's not I think it's ready so I'm just going to start serving and then um, we're ready to eat so it's time to serve So guys, this is my lunch ready.
and it's time to go to enjoy it i hope you like it and i will see you later the salad is also going to be served on the table it's here anybody can take as much as they want so i don't put the salad on the table on the plate everybody can take it on the table so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel like and comment and subscribe 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 i will see you